I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. We are going into a new season and that means new fragrance recommendations. If you guys want to know more, let's go. Okay, now the first one, not too much on me. If you've seen my other fragrance videos, I want you to know I meant what I said when I said it about this fragrance. I don't know what it is. I have given this several, the sun? I have given this several tries in all the previous times that I tried it. I just was not messing with it and I don't know what's changed recently but this Billie Eilish what is the actual name of this what do you call it? it'll be in the description I listen I wanted this when it came out just for the packaging alone just for display because how cute is this bottle but I smelled it and everyone's like it's this vanilla it's this I smelled it I said mm, give him very much so backwash mm. And I don't know what it is, but like now I kind of do get a vanilla scent out of it, but like a woodsy vanilla. And I wish I feel like that's why I like this for the fall time. She, like a, a grown vanilla, sexy, mysterious type of vanilla. And I like it. Now I'm wearing it today. I mixed it today with what I mixed it with, what I mixed. Oh, I mixed, I mixed it with the next one I'm going to talk about. Um, but I like her. I don't know. Maybe I had to get older to like it because this has been out for like what like a year or two two years something like that she's launched other ones i never got to smell that red one i smelled the black one in the store i didn't like that either my i've given it chances i smelled it in alta i smelled it uh, on my friends and i'm like oh you smell good but like when i smelled it on myself i didn't like it and maybe my body i don't know but i like it now and i am wearing that with the libre intense something like they already have the libre intense which i love that fragrance you can also wear that I am incorrect. I had to think about that. I am incorrect. I'm actually not wearing this today. One second. Listen, not too much on me, okay? Auntie is just getting old. This is what I am wearing um, with the Billy fragrance. It is the Libre Intense. That was the Libre like double intense. Uh, they smell very similar. However, this, I always say this is very like unisex to me. I love how this smells on myself. I love how it smells on a man. The other one, I feel like it's supposed to give unisex because but to me it's just a little too masculine i do like it i do use it but i use it with like in other combinations but if you want one that i feel is like a little bit more girly ish libre intense that version which i can't remember the name of but i know it's like libre intense something blah blah blah, blah. that's a little bit more masculine but that could also be good for the fall as well because you know fall is when i'll break out more of the like unisex masculine-ish type fragrances but libra intense is like a top three fragrance for me out of all of the fragrances that i've tried all the fragrances that i love this is a top three i will wear this year round but the fall time again it just gives that kind of like crisp outside day where you walk in you're walking down the street and everyone just looks at you because they can smell you you look good you just that bit y'all know what i was gonna say and it paired really well with the billy fragrance some people ask like how do i put combos together same kind of the same way that i'll be putting clothes together i just i feel it in my head or i see it in my head and i'm like that seems like it would work well together and i try it out sometimes it works sometimes it does not today it worked they are both uh, strong fragrances and both long lasting still smell it on myself um so i'll be wearing that combination a lot this fall all right now don't fight me because i feel like when people hear this word they automatically think funk because i think people hear the word musk and think must musty but this is the finery i'm a musk and this is a like musky floral ish type scent that i feel is really good for the fall again all of these just give like clean fresh crisp but mature but sweet or sexy just vixen type vibes um and y'all know finery is available at target i think this is somewhere around like 29 or 39 dollars so affordable fragrances we love those as well and honorable mention something something pistachio it's the like green bottle version looks just like this that is a dupe for the kayali pistachio and that's also good for the fall okay so to lighten up the mood with the next one because i feel like the first three that i mentioned are darker heavier 
um energy sense all that stuff like it's just, just like i said vixen and you know the girlies the light fresh airy bubbly girlies they still need something in the fall so that is the commodity milk this is like that milky vanilla that's just sweet and dainty and just girly and just yeah but like you still don't smell it this y'all know when i smelled this i had to get this immediately the full size I ain't playing with her. And I like that it's so like airy, milky type scent that it pairs really well with a lot of other fragrances. So before, um, you know, I was pairing it a lot with Princess. Sorry, I got a text message. Um, Princess, Killian, Love Don't Be Shy, Killian. Um, a lot of fragrances that I wear more like summer, sp summer, spring. And now I could... Uh, I'm looking at them. I could probably mix this with every fragrance that I'm showing, every other fragrance that I'm showing in this video, and it's going to smell really good. It's just like a, a sweet little topper to it, and it smells good on its own as well. So definitely pick this up for the fall. Okay, and the last one that I have to tell you about, I am a firm believer that most fragrances that have like cherry uh, being the main focus or one of the main focuses is going to smell like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And I feel like that's not much different with this Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. Shout out to Bemi for sending me this one. I do get a vibe of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry with this one. However, this is probably the most like different, but like, so basically they're like cousins. A lot of the other ones that I've smelled, I feel like they're straight up twin sisters. They, someone got in that lab said, give me uh, Lost Cherry and they said, all right, bet. But this one, they're like cousins. You got a vibe of Lost Cherry, but she's different on her own. Cause I feel like it's kind of like a lively, livelier uh, Lost Cherry. Kind of a juicier Lost Cherry, but still dark cherry and amber, like still got a little bit of that darkness to it. But I would say dark cherry, uh, dark cherry lost cherry is the like older cousin is the older more mature cousin dark cherry and amber is what you go for when you want to be a little bit livelier just a little little oomph in your step long lasting this gives very like date night like you just want to turn around and be like who who you feeling like oh, okay mm. or her i was like wait a minute let me smell you again because i feel like it definitely smells like Libre Intense and Libre. I, I always forget that regular Libre exists. If I had to rank them, Libre Intense, regular Libre, and then this one, because it's just that masculine is the first thing that hits you when you spray it in. Strong scent. But like if a man was going to play in my fragrance collection, this is one like I wouldn't mind if he just took it because he's going to smell good when he's around, but... <sighs> So yeah, y'all, those are the fragrances I would recommend for the fall. Like I said, I feel like a lot of them would pair well with each other just in this video and pair well with a lot of the other fragrances that you probably have in your collection. I don't know if y'all know this, but the Sephora sale is coming, like literally blank. It's about to be here. I think it starts November 1st. So um, definitely my camera is annoying and cut off while I was talking. I don't even remember what I was saying. I know I was talking about the Sephora sale. It starts November 1st. Oh, um, y'all know fragrance is not cheap. So now is the time to look around, see what you would like to add to your collection for the fall, winter. Um, and when the sale is live, it's already in your cart. Go ahead and check out, you're stocked up. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you'll be wearing this fall. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.